What's going on, Minties? The Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition. And today, as promised, I'm going to do part two of three of my top 30 most wanted DC omnibuses. So, stay tuned. And welcome back, Minties. If you haven't seen part one yet, you can click on the link above or you can click on the description of the video. I'll post it there. Uh, I guess you don't really have to. Today I'm going to be focusing on number 20 all the way to 11. So it is a countdown and this is, again is my top 30. It's all subjective. Now before I get started, I want to say a quick word from our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself in packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source of the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality, shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. So, thank you very much, Cheap Graphic Novels. Now, let's kick off this list with number 20. No, it's not Nightwing, but this has to be on here, right? Why else would I have this picture here? So, DC Omnibus is my most wanted. Number 20, Green Arrow by Mike Grell. Kicking it off with the post-crisis Green Arrow series. Uh, collecting Green Arrow, the Longbow Hunters, and that's issues 1 through 3. Uh, it was a 1987 miniseries, and that led on to the ongoing series. So I want all of Mike Grell's stuff, issues 1 through 80, and then Green Arrow, The Wonder Year 1 through 4. You've got uh, um, artwork by Mike Grell, uh, Dennis Cohen, and Rick Hoberg. And yes, eventually I would love a Chuck Dixon run, but for right now, this is a great starting off point. I can't believe that we don't have this. We have a bunch of trade paperbacks. Actually, as a matter of fact, we have a total of 9, 10, including the low bung. Why can't I have, why have a hard time saying that? Long, long, long bow hunters. What the hell's wrong with me? I am off to a bad start. Stick with me, please. Stay with me. Uh, number 19. This is huge. This one's huge. Batman No Man's Land. Everything. I mean, everything from Cataclysm all the way to No Man's Land. So, Cataclysm, Road to No Man's Land. This will probably be spread across three volumes, and I've mapped it out where my volume, starting out with the prelude, Cataclysm, which is a big earthquake that happens, mm -hmm. kicking it off with Detective Comics 719 to 729, Batman 553 to 562, Shadow of the Bat 73 to 82, Batman Blackgate 1, Batman Huntress Spoiler 1, Batman Arkham Asylum Tales of Madness 1, Batman No Man's Land, Secret Files and Origins number 1, and I want to throw in Batman Harley Quinn in there because I think this is a good point to put it right before the prelude or the uh, Road to No Man's Land and No Man's Land event because she just appears out of nowhere. But I love to have that Paul Dini book in there. And speaking of No Man's Land, this would probably be a set of two Omnis. So I would collect Batman No Man's Land number one, Shadow of the Bat 83 to 94, Batman 563 to 574, Detective Comics 730 to 741, Azrael, Agent of the Bat, 51 to 61. Legends of the Dark Knight, 117 to 126. Batman Chronicles, 16 through 17. Robin, 67 through 73. Nightwing, 35 through 39. Catwoman, 72 to 77. Young Justice, No Man's Land, number one. Batman, Land, Batman No Man's Land, Secret Files, number one. And Batman, No Man's Land, number zero. Oh, I would kill for this. It's such a great and epic event. How, like, when I looked at this list, by the way, I also said, damn, I really needed to separate the Batman books. So, maybe that's why I made a top 30 instead of top 20. Because Batman and Superman books could have been their own top 10 list. Um, so then, we're moving on to number 18. And that is The Spectre by John Ostrander. A very underrated series with beautiful artwork. I don't know how this trade paperback series was called. I think they only collected two trades. And that's it. So collecting, um, this is volume three, by the way. Number zero, issues one through 62. Annual number one. And I want to throw in Underworld Unleashed one through three in there. And this has got Tom Mandrake on artwork, killing it on artwork. And like I said, we were teased um, a couple of with a couple of the trades. But, I mean, two Omnis would do this just fine. Come on, DC. Moving on to number 17, Catwoman by Ed Brubaker. Now, this is just his run before the Will Pfeiffer run. And I want to collect Catwoman 
Well, actually, no, let's kick it off with the detective stuff. So let's kick it off with Detective 759 all the way to 762. And then move on to Catwoman 1 through 37. And then Catwoman Secret Files number 1. Now, one of my big... Oh my gosh, I would love these. This would be probably five to six Omnis. I don't care. That's Green Lantern, the Kyle Rayner years. Damn it to hell, they canceled the trade paperbacks after Volume 2. But I love Kyle Rayner. He's my Green Lantern. I love Hal Jordan, but Kyle's the guy that I read when I was in high school. So, Green Lantern, Double Zero, Issue 46, which kind of sets up the Emerald Twilight story. And then, of course, the Emerald Twilight story. So, 48 through 50, where Hal goes bad. And then, from 51 all the way to 181, right? Stay with me, right? Not including Ion, but just the stuff before that, before Hal came back. And then Warrior number 24, Ganthet's Tell. And because these two kind of intertwined a lot and had their own comic book renamed, I would throw Green Arrow 110 to 111 in there, 125 and 126, 130 and 136. Superboy 47, see, even including the crossover events. And this one's special, the Green Lantern Silver Surfer Unholy Alliances. Hell yes. Giant Size number 3, Heart of Darkness 1, 2, and 3. Flash 135, The New Core 1 and 2, Giant Size 1, New Titans 124 and 125, that's a crossover event, Dark Star 36, and Damage number 16. Like I said, this would span across so many Omnis, but God, I love this run. I mean, you had Ron Mars, and then you eventually had Judd Winnick, and I love his run. And his stuff, his trade paperbacks have been out of print for years. Superman, number 15, Our World's at War. How is this not an omnibus? What the hell? This is such a great story. Okay, not that great of a story, but a lot of things happened. And we were supposed to have been heading towards the Kingdom Come looking Superman. And you'll see by the end of the image here that I use. But, you know, this had Jeff Loeb and wonderful artwork. If you can't say anything good about the story, the artwork is amazing. So, Superman 171 to 173, Adventures of Superman 593 to 596, Man of Steel 115 to 117, Action Comics 780 to 782, Supergirl 59 through 61. And then it crossed over into a, a lot of the DC stuff. So, you have JLA, Our Worlds at War 1, JSA, Our Worlds at War, World's Finest, Our Worlds at War, Wonder Woman, Our Worlds at War, Wonder Woman 171 to 173. I mean, that had the death of a major character. Young Justice 35 to 37. Impulse 77. Superboy 89 through 91. Nightwing, Our World's at War. Batman 593 to 594. Green Lantern, Our World's at War. Harley Quinn, Our World's at War. Batman, Our World's at War. Superman, Our World's at War. At and this, um, Our World's at War Secret Files and Origins. Number one. That's why I would stop with. How the hell did I have not a hard time with our worlds at war, but long, long bow hunters, long bow hunters. Come on, keep it together, Omar. <sighs> All right, moving on to the final four. Number 14, it's here for a reason. You knew it was coming. Nightwing by Chuck Dixon, kicking it off with Nightwing 101 to 106. Why? Because that's year one. And it's Chuck Dixon coming back with Scott McDaniel on artwork. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Then we would need recap pages of the Batman Prodigal story. Uh, where Nightwing, Dick Grayson, becomes Batman for a little while. But Batman was off getting a new suit. I think that's what happened. Then we get uh, Nightwing Alfred's Return number one. Leads into Nightwing Ties That Bind, one through four. Nightwing 1 through 70 of the main series, uh, Nightwing the Half Issue, Nightwing and Huntress 1 through 4, Nightwing 1 Million, Nightwing Secret Files and Origins number 1, Birds of Prey 20 and 21, which is the Hunt for Oracle crossover, and Nightwing 80 Page Giant number 1. My god, how do we not have this? I, I need to custom bind these things, because I absolutely love Nightwing. My favorite DC character, and we only have a Grayson Omnibus. This damn title's not even Nightwing. Anyway, at least he's not Rick Grayson. Um, and then eventually, you know, the Devin Grayson run would be solid to collect. Now, uh, you saw my comprehensive reading order of this, so you know this was coming up. Birds of Prey by Gail Simone. Yes, I would love to start off the Chuck Dixon run, but I think the Gail Simone run would sell a lot better. Just bake based on the cheesecake art by Ed Bennis. You put that TNA on the cover, 
it will sell. Then people will dive in going, shit, this isn't just TNA. This is a damn good story. So, Birds of Pay. Okay, really? Worlds at War and Birds of Pay? What the hell? Birds of Prey 56 through 108. And yes, even collecting that one issue that was orphaned, issue 91. Um, it was it wasn't written by Simone, but it's still there. And then issues one through fifteen of the volume two series, which weren't that great, but come on, it's still Gail Simone, and you need that towards the end of the run. Otherwise, completists would go nuts, right? You don't want to own two hardcovers or two trade paperbacks of that stuff. You want it all in one or two omnis. This is probably two omnis. The final two. Number twelve. Well, final two for today. Until next week. Supergirl by Peter David. Man, I don't care if Dan Didio hated her and thinks that she never existed. I don't care if she's not canon anymore. But these stories existed to me and to so many others. I mean, we're, this is the story of Matrix, right? The Supergirl. So, okay. Um, I can't dive into what it is, really. but So, Matrix and Linda Danvers merge together. Read it. It's wonderful. There's trade paperbacks available. Hopefully one day Omnibus if DC ever watches this. So kicking it off with Superman Volume 2, 21 and 22, and Adventures of Superman 444, which is her first appearance. Because remember, she died in Crisis on Infinite Earths. And this version is from another dimension, so we'll get to that later. Uh, probably in another episode. Now, uh, collecting Supergirl, the ongoing series 1 through 80, annual number 1 and 2, Supergirl 1 million, Supergirl Plus, that's the one with, uh, I want to say Mary Marvel, Showcase 96, number 8. I mean, and you've got art by Gary Frank, Leonard Kirk, and Ed Bennis towards the end of the run. So, yes, please make this happen. And the last one for today, again, all subjective. I'd love to know what you would put in your next top 30, I guess, number 20 through 11. Uh, and I want to remind you before I do this to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and notification buttons. I never know why I point. I pretend like the damn things are floating around me, but they're never not. They're down below. Down below. And don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Near Mint Con, where we can probably put my top 30 list, and then you can write on there on, on Facebook what your top 30 would be. That would be really cool. In the hopes that maybe DC looks at it someday. Number 11, Batgirl. Cassandra Kane, yes, God, come on, who's with me? Cassandra Kane was my Batgirl. I love Barbara Gordon, absolutely love her. Probably top five, one of my top five favorite DC characters of all time. But I liked Oracle. Uh, her Batgirl, you know, I don't know, and she's never grew on me. But for some reason, Cassandra Kane really spoke to me. And and don't get me wrong, I like Stephanie too. But Cassandra Kane was awesome from the beginnings. What a unique character too, from the beginnings in No Man's Land where she speaks through violence and she speaks through martial arts. Like, that's really awesome. Uh, so anyway, collecting this wonderful run that started off with Kelly Puckett. And like I said, introducing No Man's Land, so I would include Batman 567, Legends of the Dark Knight 120, and Gotham Knights number 2. And then Young Justice 21, before kicking off the main series of Batgirl 1 through 73, Annual number 1, Nightwing 81, Harley Quinn 10 through 11, Superboy 85, so all the crossovers, Robin 132 and 133, and Batgirl Secret Files and Origins. I absolutely, I cannot, I, there's so many good books in here that I can recommend, but if I were to choose one that they would make, and I, I know Nightwing's my favorite character, but I think Cassandra Cain deserves an omnibus because she's such an amazing character, and one that hardly anybody talks about anymore. So that is my list of number 20 through 11. Tune in next week when I go through the last and final 10 of my top 30 most wanted DC omnibuses. Hopefully when I do this in a year's time, this list will change because the, uh, DC will have printed, I don't know, like 50 of these, right? 50 out of 30. Math is hard. Um, don't forget to check out our sponsor once again, CheapGraphicNovels.com. Uh, we, are also, we can also be found on Patreon if you enjoy the content of this channel and want to support it. And again, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, where I'll drop my top 30 once it's done. And that is at NeemarinCon. I am actually pointing at that word right now. So that's why I'm pointing down. And tune in next week, please. And don't forget to check out our all our other videos here in, from the Near Mint Condition family. Again, this was the Uncanny Omar. And remember, if it's classy and cool, it must be Near Mint. One take.